you ready for today's adventure? God gives us the Bible and teaches us how to conquer every obstacle so we find true treasures of life. Buckle up and get ready to soar. Young Hearts Media presents Kid Devo. 1 Peter 2, 24. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. I'm so excited for Easter. Me too. Don't you just have so much fun painting eggs, seeing baby chicks, eating candy, and setting carrots out? Oh, well, that's fun and all, but do you know why we celebrate Easter? Well, of course, Jesus. Yes, but what about Jesus? Did you know he died for you and me? Just for us? But what do you mean? Check this out. Jesus died for everyone in the whole wide world, for our sin, those who were alive, those who are alive now, and those who will be born. This penny represents us. Now this red water is sin poured onto our life. Ever since Adam and Eve sinned against God, we have all been born into sin. We have all fallen short of what God wants us to be. You mean like disobeying our parents? Yep, that's sinful. Does being mean towards others count as sin? It does. Even thinking bad thoughts is a sin. We were forever covered in sin, just like this penny is covered in the red water. Now lighting this candle represents the life of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus came into the world fully God and fully man for you and me. God so loved us from the beginning of time, we are his creation. When sin came, he saw how desperately we needed salvation. And God is our only hope. The candle is the only hope for this penny to get the red liquid off. Let's see what happens when we place this glass jar over the candle. The glass jar over the candle represents the death of Jesus on the cross. The glass suffocates the oxygen away from the flame and it dies out. This represents the death of Jesus. Like a vacuum, the glass drew up the red water inside the glass and left the coin dry. The cross is where Jesus gave up his life and took our sin with him, taking it away from us, which made us free from eternal death, just like what happened with the dying candle and what he did for the penny. Jesus died on the cross because he loved us so much. He wants us to experience life in him that is full of love, peace, and goodness here on earth and in heaven. We know he loves us because he gave his life for us and he wanted us to experience freedom in him. On the third day after Jesus died, he rose again. Our savior rose again and now we get to have life in him. Jesus is alive. To experience that life and freedom, we need to accept him in our hearts and believe that he is who he says he is, having faith in him and trusting his word. So Jesus is risen? He is risen indeed. Pray with us, friends. Jesus, thank you so much for dying on the cross so that we could have everlasting life with you and our Heavenly Father forever and ever and ever. Father God, we so appreciate you. And we pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit fills the hearts here in this church and all over the world with you. Lord, decrease us and increase you so that we can share who you are to others, Lord, because you are so great, you are so good, you are so mighty, all because you love us, God. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of our sins. We love you, Jesus, and it's in your name. We praise you forever and ever. Amen.